All right, guys, good morning. There were a few of you who yesterday, um, if you didn't complete the assignment because you weren't logged on yet or you had some other kind of problem with the assignment, I opened it up for those people only to retake it, okay? Um, but most of you guys did an awesome job. I know logging on and working online in the first place is challenging, so good job. Today, let's focus on jogging the memory. So yesterday we learned all about perimeter, which is finding the outside of a shape, right? Like a rectangle, and if it has four sides, then you need to add up four numbers to find the perimeter, okay? Today, we're going to talk about area, okay? Not the same thing as perimeter, even though it does involve the sides of a shape. So yesterday, you guys added to find the perimeter, and today we're going to multiply to find the area. So let's take a look. So I don't know if you remember the Krabby Patty secret formula to finding area in class was length times width equals area. Okay. So for example, yesterday when we were finding perimeter, you guys had to go, okay, if this side is five, this side is five. If this side is three, this side is three. Not today. Because to find the area of a shape, you only need to know the length and the width. So you can find the area of this shape by multiplying three times five. So the area is 15. And it's not just 15, because when we find area, we say it in a special way. We say 15 square units, okay? Now, when you see a shape like this, if you want to find the area of this shape, you're going to have to use the squares. And there's two different ways. If you wanted to find the area of this shape, you could just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The area is 12 square units. Or, again, you can multiply the length times the width. 1, two, three, times one, two, three, four. Okay, length times width, three times four equals 12. So we know the area of this shape is 12 square units. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. So that's kind of basic area, and you guys are good at that. You know how to do that. So some other problems you're going to see today in the quiz are about finding the missing side of a shape. So for example, in this shape, you don't need to find the area because they already told you what the area was, right? The area of this rectangle is 40 square units, okay? We know one side is 10. Let's call that the width but we don't know the length of the other side of the rectangle. Or do we? Okay, again, we're gonna use length times width equals area here, right? So if we have length times width equals area, okay? And we know that the length is unknown, the width is 10, and the area is 40. You know how to fill in that blank, don't you? You know blank times 10 equals 40, okay? And if you don't, you could always turn it around into a division equation. 40, big number goes first, divided by 10 equals blank, okay? And you can draw your equal groups if you need to. You draw 10 groups, and you put one in each group until you get to 40, right? And you're going to get 4. So what is the length of the missing side? The length is four units. Not square units, because that's only for area, okay? But units. So to find the missing side of a shape, you basically want to use your length times width equals area equation again and turn it into division if you need to. So finally, the most challenging type of question you're going to look at um, is a combined area question, okay? So combined area is all about taking an irregular shape, which 
You guys remember what irregular means? It means not regular, right? Not normal. So this isn't a shape we would usually see, okay? But it's kind of like two rectangles that have been stitched together, okay? And what you want to do here is you want to cut the shape into two rectangles, okay? See my little line I created? So I want to take my irregular shape and I want to make it into two regular shapes, okay? So now I know how to find the area of this rectangle on the bottom, don't I? Okay, because I know length times width equals area. Okay, to find the area of the bottom rectangle, I want to do 3 times 6. Okay, which is... 18 square units. And if I want to find the area of the top rectangle, then I'm going to multiply 7 times 3. Twenty one square units. OK, and then I'm going to combine those numbers together to state the area of the entire shape. OK, so I'm going to combine 18 and 21 to say that the area of the whole shape is 18. adding them up. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 1 is 3. OK, so the area of this whole shape is 39 square units. If you put them together, if you combine the areas, you're going to get 39 square units. Okay. Last one. Combined area, but a different shape, just another example. Okay. It's an irregular shape, so you want to cut it into two regular ones. Okay. You have 10 times 3 first. And then 6 times 2, or 2 times 6, whatever, that's your second length times width equals area. And then you want to add, I put 2 times 6 equals 2. Even teachers make mistakes, right? Okay. And then you want to combine your areas, 30 and 12. Don't forget this step, or it'll mess your whole answer up. Okay. 0 plus 2 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. So the area of the whole shape is 42 square units. All right. Sound familiar? Okay. Good luck today. And if you need anything, you can comment or have mom or dad call. Okay.